Hello guys, it's Ryan from Ryan Tom here again today bringing you a bit of solo play on Kino to Totem round 40, just a bit of a mess about um, I've got to tell you today I've found some exciting news about Black Ops 2 um, both the multiplayer campaign and zombies actually as you know um, it's been E3 this uh, weekend uh, so lots of new details were released um, I'll jump into them straight away so um, it's Black Ops 2 campaign is split between the 1980s Cold War and the new Cold War which is happening in 2025 so as you can imagine the weapons will be futuristic there's lots of robots and things like that in the game um, which should add a real new dimension to the Call of Duty franchise because um, it, in all honesty it is starting to get quite repetitive like just the same old weapons, same old game modes um, your main character is the son of Mason from Black Ops the first. So nice continuation on there. Um, the main villain is called Menendez, I believe. Hope I pronounced it right. I'm not sure. But the biggest thing that I think will make the campaign really, really good on Black Ops 2 is the way that the storyline branches. So it basically means that depending on how you play the campaign and what happens to you depends on how you finish the game so I could go and play and uh, I don't know say kill a certain person in the game and my friend could go and play and do something completely different that would change the, ha the way the rest of the storyline plays out for each of us and the ending as well so that's really good um, I think it'll add a whole new dimension to the game um, and hopefully it'll make the campaign worth playing because as you know the campaigns on the Call of Duties aren't really that spectacular people buy it for the multiplayer, people buy it for the zombies um, the new zombies is what I really wanted to come on to that's the most part, the part I'm most excited about um, it is actually built on the same engine as the multiplayer and the designers of the game have said this will allow more options throughout Zombies and make it a better gaming experience than um, a separate engine for Zombies. The thing that I'm really looking forward to is the confirmation of 8 player Zombies. 8 player Zombies will be absolutely awesome. Uh, cannot wait to play that with all my friends. Be really good. Great laugh. Um, so that'll be really good. I've been looking forward to a bigger number of players in Zombies because often when I find we're playing my friends, there's more than four of us who want to play at one time. So we can't all play together, which sucks. But now, hopefully, we'll be able to. Um, one of the head creators at Treyarch have been said to have. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They said that there is, I quote, a lot of new zombie game modes. This is very exciting. Uh, hopefully, we know there is still the traditional zombies round um, game mode, but apparently, as well, there's also game modes where uh, you have to fulfill certain tasks throughout the game. So, it'll make zombies more interesting uh, won't make it so repetitive throughout although I do love just playing on my own just normal round mode but it'll make it a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable as a group uh, what else do I have to tell you the combat training has been revamped uh, for new players which I really quite like the combat training actually it was just a bit of a fun to mess around on uh, which was um, on sitting yourself on veteran on Nuketown, camping in the building, just getting absolutely destroyed. But hey, just a bit of fun at the end of the day. Um, I'm reading here. There's a new sniper rifle that uses millimeter wave technology, the same technology that airport security sc scanners use to see through walls. And if you've seen some of the trailers, you can see a one part there is a man being scanned on a metal detector at an airport and you see a weapon on him that glows red um, the snipers that are put in the game you can then shoot through um, 
walls and see enemy targets through buildings and things like that. So you can set your shots up to shoot through walls at enemies, which is really, really awesome. Um, totally unique to this game, aside from Ghost Recon, of course, but for the Call of Duty franchise, it's something very new. Uh, yes, so the eight player zombies will have. Say you have eight players in, it will of course double the amount of zombies that come compared to four player on the traditional zombies that we're used to playing. Apparently, as well, I'm not sure of this how true this is, but there will be different types of maps on the new zombies. There will be the set zombie maps as such. And then also the multiplayer maps will be able to be used to play zombies mode on. I'm not sure how true this is, um, but an exciting prospect anyway. I'd be really, I'd just give such a range of maps to play, which would be really, really awesome. Uh, I do like the individual zombie maps. I'm not sure how much I would have liked the zombies to be able to be played on any of the Black Ops campaign missions. But uh, they've put a lot and lot of time and effort into Black Ops 2 compared to the first Black Ops. They've had their own zombies team on it where they didn't on Black Ops the first, so they should make it to a really, really, really good game. And the weaponry is totally, totally different compared to this. Uh, weapons are, for the most part, future weapons. Um, you've got your laser weapons, plasma weapons, things like that. Personally, I do prefer games that are more realistic to this time. I don't really like the future games, but I've got I welcome it with open arms. If they make it work, then all credit to them, and I'm sure it'd be a brilliant game. If they don't, well, they'll know for next time, won't they? They'll know for the next uh, Call of Duty they build not to make it so futuristic, things like that. If you want to see the trailers for the new Black Ops, I will put the links in the description. And also, at the website I use to gather my information, I will put this link in the description as well. So hopefully you can check it out yourselves, have a look, see what you think. Maybe make a video response to this, telling me what you think and what you hope from Black Ops 2. Also, there is a leaked image of Black Ops Zombies. The first leaked image there's been. I will put the link to that one in the description as well. So, if you guys really want to check that out, you can. It looks very similar to how this Black Ops, the first Zombies, is set out. But I will link it to you so you can check it out yourselves. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video to play out now, guys. Um, just enjoy my shitty weapon bodge on round 40. I do actually make it into round 41 before I make my final stand. So keep out a little watch on this. Uh, drop a like, drop a comment, tell me what you think about Black Ops 2. And if you like this video or you want more like it, drop yourself on the subscribe button, click that, and give me suggestions on what videos we should be making for the future. Any videos you think you want. We've had some requests to do some Modern Warfare 3 videos, so if you want us to make a specific video, just tell us and we will do that. Okay, thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.
need to find some lead or I'm gonna get bored here! Me their soul. I ain't gonna be any puppy's chew toy! I'm out of juice! Someone wanna help me out here? 